I'm going to tell you this before. Okay, I'm going to close my birds and come back to you. If you decide to do what I'm going to show you in this video, you really need to make sure that you are either outside or you have a huge window or you have a good ventilated area. And that's just for your nose and for whoever is around you and especially if you have pets around. This is just FYI. Hey guys, I'm Farah Ghazal and welcome to my studio where I share a video with you every Wednesday. So if you are into that, hit that subscribe button because I'm here every Wednesday and I don't want you to miss the next upcoming video. While you are here, today's video is all about DIY backdrop and surfaces, more of small or on a that that kind of size of a backdrop for food photography and product photography most of the time i buy those backdrop and a half tons and i also did a video about what i use as a backdrop um and you will see that in the card somewhere in here or either in the description below but for this video i wanted to actually create my own diy because it gets kind of more expensive when you want to get these um, kind of backdrop and they do take a lot of space and I kind of want to make sure that they are exactly how I want them and I am experimenting in this I've checked so many other artists and how they do it and I got inspired I want to mix things up and come up with my own colors that I need for specific shoots and mostly I'm going to do white and mostly beige and maybe blue I really really got excited and inspired and I'll tell you a secret that it's very soothing and therapeutical kind of process but it is nice and you might really like it the good news about all this project is literally it cost me $30 $30 from Home Depot and then if you want to add some stuff I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to use and I think you have all these stuff handy at home and you can definitely use them to create the patterns that you want but here's what the first thing that you really really need for this video basic concept for this backdrop is basically you just get a backdrop which is I'm going to show you the one that I picked from Home Depot so you pick some sort of backdrop and you decide on it from anywhere Home Depot some people use foam board but I don't recommend that because the foam board once you apply the product on it it might bend and you don't want that so I definitely recommend you to get a very stiff board and a thin as well and you can definitely find them at Home Depot and this is my journey when I went to Home Depot you can check what I picked and the one that I picked it was I can't remember the size but you can see it in the video and I'll put it below and um, it was that big and I just wanted to have squares and the good part about it I asked them to cut it in half so now I basically have four however I'm going to paint the two surfaces can you believe it so basically I will have eight eight different surfaces but I'm going to have um, two surfaces that they look the same. So this way when I have the product here, then I have the backdrop with the same color. And then you add joint compound, which is you find also at Home Depot. And it's called also all purposes that they use for the wall. And so it's kind of construction material that they use. The only thing about using all this stuff that you need to wait like 24 hours, 12 hours for the things to dry and then come back and then use it again so what i did is basically i applied the all-purpose construction material on that board and you can really play around with it and the way um you want to move it around so this way you get more texture on it as you can see and then you really can be creative and use different tools to get different type of patterns and texture for the base okay that's for the base is always why you get that some sort of board and you use that joint compound all-purpose construction material on it and once you use it you start playing around with uh, spreading it around and using different kind of material to get that feel of 
pattern and texture and then you add the colors you need garbage bag that and then I have this material which is I'm going to lay still under on top of the garbage bag because this is very kind of I don't know you can see it goes through it but let's let's go there's also another technique that I want to try where you put all the colors that you want and then you add the all-purpose material on top of it and mix it with a bit of color okay so I want to show you some and you really can't see I'll show you but see it, this is the form this is the board that I got it's like that and I thought I can actually do a double face so I can do the other side but it's slightly bent slightly I wouldn't say it's flat 100% I can personally see it I don't know if you can see it you get the board then you add the joint compound and it looks great you wait for it to dry for a full day and the next step is basically you want to add kind of spray material on top of it that's for wood and this one is is glossy and I only have the gold one so I'm gonna try it but there's different ones that there are matte I also have another one which is this one and these two I might try them and then see how it looks but if I have like a black this won't be the dominant color on the backdrop right it's just gonna be the second base on top of the joint compound and then once I add this wait it wait for it to dry then I'm going to add the paint color that I got also from Home Depot for five dollars you know that at Home Depot you know how you go and pick colors wall paint you can get a sample from there and so I got three different colors I do have a lot of acrylic color at home but I kind of love this one Now the only thing I recommend is not getting that hard wood that I got if there's a thicker wood and then cut it in half and maybe the one that I got also are square because I cut it in half but then the next time I will be more uh, aiming to get like uh, five by three inches like I want it a bit wider which is perfect size for any product and food photography well, I linked all the products in the description down below and thank you so much for hanging out with me in the studio and on the balcony and I will see you very soon. Thank you, bye!